Welcome to the Madhouse! <laughs> We all go a little mad sometimes. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video by yours truly, The Knights of Horror, where we grind around here and we get stuff done. I am your host, Anthony, and today we are doing our August Q&A video. Now, a little bit ago I asked you guys on Twitter and on Instagram to tweet me and ask me some questions, and I got a pretty good turnout, so we're gonna start over like always on our Twitter page. If you wanna follow us on Twitter for the next Q&A, Follow us at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at The Knights of Horror on Instagram so you guys are aware when we do another Q&A so you guys can ask your questions. On Twitter, I'll just tweet out a tweet saying, you know, we're going to do a monthly Q&A. Send me your questions on Instagram. I'll share it on my story and I'll have you guys just ask me questions. So without further ado, let's get this video started. Like I said, we are starting on Twitter. We're going to be uh, answering all your questions and stuff. And the first question comes from my girlfriend. Tammy at Never Ready Tammy. You guys seen her on the channel many times. She was on the live stream. She was in the construction update video, um, and she asked a four-part question. The first one going: How do you find time to manage work, YouTube, and a social life? So, work is Monday through Friday, um, six to two thirty, and then uh, YouTube is pretty much all week. Whether I'm working on videos, collaborating with people, social media updating people, and stuff like that. YouTube is pretty much almost an everyday job, uh, and my social life, so of course, spending time with my girlfriend, spending time with friends and stuff, I kind of manage everything right. I kind of try to pace myself where I have to record and edit videos by a certain time. That way, all I have to do is maybe edit them on one day. Usually, my, my edit days are usually pretty much on the weekends because that's when I have the most free time. So, like, Sundays will be the day where I just come into my studio and just edit all my videos for the week and uh, record all my videos for the week and stuff like that. So. That's usually how I manage everything. As far as social life goes, again, I, I like to spend time with people like on Fridays and Saturdays. Me and Sammy hang out a lot throughout the week too, so that's cool. And like work, uh, it's Monday through Friday and I have a set time for that, so that comes out to work. Her second question goes, what's one memorable moment that you still think about? I think just where I'm at right now in my YouTube career is uh, pretty memorable only because like, I'm getting noticed at conventions, I'm getting noticed you know, at horror events and stuff like that, which I think is really cool. So I think that in general is just something that it's, it's always going to be a memorable moment when I think about it. Uh, Tammy then goes on to say, uh, top three presents you got for your birthday. Number one is going to go to the Knights of Horror sticker you got me. Number two is going to go to the Knights of Horror social media patches that you got me. And number three is going to go to that shirt Robert got me of Leo DiCaprio doing the dance from Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Uh, then the last question she asked, who would you like to interview next for the Mindless Horror podcast? So there's three people on my my like all-time list like I, and I don't know if they'll happen probably anytime soon but fingers crossed um, but the three people I would love to interview on the Miley Sword podcast would be Dead Meat James the Chiodo brothers and John Carpenter those are my like three top three in the world that I would love to interview on the podcast so hopefully uh, I can get an interview with I know hopefully two of them maybe if there's a possibility there's a chance but uh, we'll see um, HHN74 at HHN Boy asked, what is your most anticipated maze for HHN 2019? So as you guys all know, I'm a huge Killer Clowns from Outer Space fan, so I'm very much looking forward to this maze a lot this year because last year when I saw they had it at HHN Orlando, I was very uh, kind of jealous of that, and I'm glad we're getting it as a maze this year. So that is my most anticipated maze for the event this year. Erica at XO Erica asked, so I know you're all about horror movies and stuff, but what is your favorite chick flick and why? Uh, if I have to pick a favorite chick flick, it's probably going to be A Star Is Born, and that's because, um, one, I love Bradley Cooper. Uh, he's a great actor, great director, producer, writer. Um, and Lady Gaga is a very talented uh, actress and singer as well, singer-songwriter. So uh, when I saw that movie, I, I was all against it. Like, oh, that movie's going to suck and stuff. But then I actually sat down and saw it, and I thought it was a really good movie. So I have to say A Star Is Born. At Chucky Man 18 asks, do you think we will smell cotton candy killer clowns from outer space maze? I think we will, only because uh, the cotton candy cocoons are a major part of that f uh, film. So I think walking through their uh, spaceship and maybe if they recreate the street scene where they're uh, ambushing the street and just going down the street, killing people and stuff like that, uh, hopefully that part. But I think for sure in the spaceship we'll, we'll smell cotton candy. Um, 
at Matt7009022 or SoFlo Explo uh, has a two question, two part of question. He goes, what is your favorite all time B horror movie? Uh, favorite all time B horror movie would probably be between um, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, which if you guys don't know, it actually is considered a B movie. And I want to say Evil Dead, the first one, which also is considered a B-movie, but it became a cult classic and it's famous, so it's actually rich for regular standard movie. But those are probably my two. And number two, what would be your dream HHN house? Well, Killer Clowns from Outer Space is coming to the event, but the, if I had to choose a second one, it would probably be John Carpenter's The Thing, because I really want to see them, um, how they would create that, recreate that, and such like that. Um, I'm a huge fan, like I said, of John Carpenter in general, so... To see that would be pretty amazing, and I cannot wait to uh, hopefully see that at the event one day. Uh, now we're gonna go over to uh, Instagram, where I asked the same thing. Um, you know, just ask, just send me some questions. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, at the Knights of Horror is where it's at, and I do monthly Q and A's, uh, and that's where you'll get posts about when I upload videos, podcasts, uh, or just uh, horror pictures I take at conventions or events. Um, so it's a great way to see what I'm doing, and then Twitter's a great way to just to see, uh, get news about the channel and stuff like that. Uh, the first one's going to go out to my sister, Marissa.photographs, and she's asked, will you bring your siblings onto your channel? Um, I think I've introduced my mom and I think you before on uh, Disney Vlog that I did one time, um, but I'm open to it. Uh, if they want to come on, they're more than welcome to. Uh, by the way, follow Marvelicious Vlogs. Uh, if you guys are into lifestyle, makeup, tutorials, and all that, um, she's the she's my stepsister, and she does amazing work. Um, so go ahead and follow her on um, YouTube, Marvelicious Vlogs. Like I said, if you like the lifestyle type vlogs and makeup tutorial vlogs and stuff like that, uh, she's definitely one of those YouTubers, and I fully support everything she does. Uh, at Tammy uh, Tam Nav, which is my girlfriend Tammy, she asks. Will you be vlogging, uh, vlogging opening night of HHN? And um, that's the plan. Um, I'm not going to be filming any of the mazes other than reactions inside the mazes this year. But um, yeah, a vlog will be uh, definitely in the works. I'm definitely getting more and adapting more to talking in front of the camera at a, in public places and stuff like that. So yeah, I think uh, we'll, we'll be vlogging. So that'd be pretty fun. Uh, Trick or Treat 9 asked three questions. His first question. Do you think we'll see Officer Mooney's death in Killer Clowns from Outer Space? So I think he's referring to the puppeteer scene in Killer Clowns from Outer Space where the clown has him as a puppet in there. I think most definitely we'll see that in the maze because that is a major part of that movie and it's actually one of the best uh, death scenes in the movie. Uh, and I'm very curious to see how they'll pull that off. Uh, so I'm very excited to see hopefully they put that in the maze. Uh, his next question is, what is your most hyped maze for HHN 2019? Uh, and I answered that already, it's Killer Clowns from Outer Space, um, just because it's one of my favorite horror movies, if not my favorite horror movie of all time. Um, and then, he, his last question is, which scene are you most looking forward to in Killer Clowns from Outer Space? So I got two that I really want to see, uh, of course the Mooney one, Officer Mooney when he's the puppet, that'd be, that's going to be really cool to see how they pull that off. And the very uh, last scene of the movie, which is of course um, Clownzilla. So I'm, I'm very curious to see how they bring him to life and stuff like that. If it's going to be um, a giant puppet of some sort or if it's going to be a, uh, someone in a suit on stilts. I, I don't know, but I'm, I'm curious to see how they pull that off. Uh, at Jacqueline Winters, which is of course the uh, uh, one third of Fracture Compass Productions. This one, uh, she asks, what haunt events are you guys attending this year? So we're going to be attending a, a couple of haunts um, this year. Uh, so I will tell you the ones that we've been to already, but we're returning for this year. Um, we're going to be going to Not Scary Farm for sure on uh, that opening weekend, that Friday. We're getting the annual pass, so you'll catch us at Not Scary Farm a lot this year. Probably, um, we're thinking Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays, but uh, we don't know yet. we got to sit down and get our schedule once we get our pass. Uh, we're going to go to Halloween Horror Nights opening night, and then uh, we're going to get frequent fear passes, so we'll probably go a couple Saturdays and stuff like that. Um, we're going to the Haunted Hayride opening night. That's going to be a first event, time event that we've ever been to. Um, I've always wanted to go to Haunted Hayride and now that uh, Plague Productions and uh, 13th Floor are taking over, I'm very excited to see what they have to bring to the table and stuff like that. So we'll be at the LA Haunted Hayride. Um, and the Queen Mary uh, Dark Harbor will be there as well. That's another first for me and I've never been there but I've always wanted to go. And uh, yeah, we're going to be there uh, the opening weekend that Sunday will be there for sure. So yeah, we're going to be hitting up four haunts, and if there's any home haunts, maybe Opeachy will check out, uh, maybe Bloodshed Brothers, I have no idea yet, I got to plan all that stuff out. 
uh, budget and everything. So yeah, catch us at a lot of those haunts. And like I said, we'll probably be at Not Scary Farm more than anything this haunt season because we live literally uh, 15 minutes away, right up the freeway from it. So um, the Brick Monster asked thoughts on Spirit Halloween. If you guys are if if that's the Halloween store. Um, from what I've seen in vlogs and stuff like that from horror youtubers. It looks like it's a pretty good quality Halloween store um, It looks like they always have deals and stuff. So uh, I I've never been to one, but uh, From what I've seen it looks pretty cool, and I would like to visit one So yeah, pretty much good and the last question comes from Spidey Kush who asks DC or Marvel now if you guys don't know I have a DC tattoo. It's a Batman Superman. And I also have a Marvel tattoo, which is uh, Let's see if I can get it up there. It's a Punisher um, so I'm a big fan of both, but if I have to choose one, um, I'm gonna go DC because I'm a huge Batman fan, and uh, I love like how dark DC is and the multiverse and stuff like that. Um, but I'm also a really huge Marvel fan. Like Marvel kills it with the cinematic universe. They have a lot of good storylines as well. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be DC though. It's like 51:49 for me. So that is it for the Q and A of August. We that was a lot of good questions. Make sure to uh, follow me on social media. Like I said. Uh, at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at the Knights of Horror on Instagram to uh, participate in next month's September Q&A. Uh, again, we're going to be attending a bunch of haunts this year and we cannot wait uh, to see most of you guys out there. Hopefully all you guys. If you guys see us, come up, say hi, walk through a maze with us, walk through a scare zone with us, uh, whatever it be, uh, just know that we are open arms to meet new fans. So thank you guys for the constant support and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye. You're moving.